Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin for Gadget TV on Butterscotch.com, and today we're taking a look at the TomTom Tom Via 1435M in-car GPS system. You can get this guy for $200. Now, what sets this one apart um, is the fact that we can actually control it via voice and also connect to uh, a compatible cell phone via Bluetooth. A compatible cell phone in this case is pretty much any phone with Bluetooth. Now you saw right off the top that it was actually retrieving the phone book from uh, my Nexus S, which is currently sitting in my pocket. Um, it allows us to do things like make, well obviously to make calls using the microphone which is here and the speaker which is actually on the back of the system here. Now any phone call I've made has been reported as uh, coming through very clear. Um, from my end, people can hear quite well. Uh, I'm assuming some kind of noise cancellation actually happening in the device itself. Uh, it can be a, if you're driving at any speed, it can be a little hard to hear the voice actually coming out of the speaker on the back. But uh, you know, it does actually ramp up the volume of of a call depending how fast you're going. Maybe my car is just too loud or something. But like I said, I have had a little bit of difficulty in actually hearing people if I'm driving it at highway speed. But I do actually like this thing quite a lot. So you can see the aluminum uh, bezel here. If you haven't looked at uh, in-car GPS systems in, in some time, it might be a good time to take another look. Uh, this one's much thinner than, than we will have seen previously. Um, TomTom has also redesigned the mounting system quite a bit. So you can see here that the mount is actually integrated into the unit itself now. Uh, and it has uh, a, lock, uh, a suction cup lock here that does work actually very well. So if it's actually uh, suctioning onto the windshield as you approach the lock, the lock part of, the, um, of the, the wheel here. It'll actually lock in and you, it's almost impossible to move the thing, but very easy to remove. Slide it uh, over to the unlock position, lift one of these tabs and it pops right off. And that means that you can slide the mount down like this and throw it in a purse or a backpack. It won't quite fit in a pocket, um, but like I said, I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of this mount. The previous TomTom -Tom mounting systems would actually use uh, metal pins around the outside of the speaker here would have a separate suction cup attachment that you'd actually have to clip onto the thing. Now sometimes when you were adjusting the, the unit like this, it would uh, pop off of its mount. Uh, and sometimes when you were trying to attach the mount to the back of the speaker here, you'd really have to kind of press um, in the middle of the screen, which obviously is, is not, the, uh, not the best solution there. Like I said, reworked. Um, initially had a bit of a hard time getting the thing to properly sit up on my, on my car. Uh, like this, but after you after you kind of figure out how it works, it's uh, it's quite simple. The only other thing to talk about here is the power button and the micro B USB port here. We can use this micro B uh, USB port for updating the maps that are inside the system. This one comes with lifetime uh, traffic and maps, and also for powering it while we're in the car using the included uh, cigarette lighter adapter that has a USB plug on it. So let's have a quick look at some of the voice commands that we can do. Like I said, that's really what sets, sets this thing apart. So first off, we'll make a phone call. Say a command. Call home. Call home. Is that correct? Yes. So this is handy because it really does allow for almost uh, completely hands-free calling. Now this one, the um, the TomTom Tom 1435 will pull your address book from your phone, uh, but the way that you actually use voice dialing with your address book is call. Call. Is that correct? Yes. Please say the list number of the contact. So here you'll see, I'll cancel out of this. The way that you have to make the call is you actually have to start paging through the list of uh, phone numbers that are there and then select the right one. Um, you can only store one number that you can call by voice and that's your home number. So you know, you'd be advised to uh, choose wisely there. I usually have that set up to, uh, to ring my wife's cell phone. Now beyond that, uh, pretty standard GPS stuff that we can do in here. Uh, we can tap down here to plan a route. We'll say no in this case. If we tap the uh, the middle panel here, your destination. we get access to volume. And if we tap in the middle of the screen, we get access to some more detailed uh, menu options. So you can, like I said, plan a route. We can just choose to drive straight to a, a, a location. And we can choose settings here. Go through some of the settings. Pair and unpair phones here in the uh, phone settings area. Now this, it also does um, 
lane guidance. So if you're you know, on a highway, a six lane highway, and three of those lanes exit and you want to get out of them, it will tell you, you know, stay left, and also will show you which lanes are going to be exiting. So that's a, a handy feature that you know, more and more GPSs are actually including now. One other small thing that sets the uh, the TomTom Tom 1435 apart is that it has an accelerometer, which is basically just does that. It's of limited use, but it basically makes it so that you can uh, attach the GPS to your windshield like this, or like this, or you know, in any configuration. Um, it really does just let you choose between one of two um, uh, landscape orientations here. Now, I have been quite impressed with how. Uh, the TomTom Tom via 1435 actually accepts voice commands. It does a really good job, even when you're saying an address out loud, of recognizing uh, where you want to go. We'll put a list of some of the commands that you can actually say in the show notes on butterscotch.com. Um, a lot of them you won't really want to use, but this one is uh, definitely handy. Keeps you from having to type things while you're actually driving. Just tap this button. Say a command. Drive to an address. One eight King Street West, Toronto, Ontario. Say the list number of the correct address or say none of these. One. One eight King Street West, Toronto, Ontario. Is that correct? Yes. Planning fastest route to 18 King Street, West Toronto, Canada. So like I say, just that... Just turn left, Duffering Street. All right, you can be quiet. Route is 6.4 kilometers and will... So just that one factor alone... Hey, what are you doing? And will take nine minutes. Don't interrupt me. Uh, just that factor alone, being able to set an address using voice is uh, very handy. We can also say things like, uh, you know, reroute me as you're driving. If you hit a traffic jam, um, you, you saw call home, um, some other commands we can do, navigate to nearest whatever point of interest, a bank or a gas station or a Starbucks or what have you. So it does quite a good job of actually recognizing the commands. More often than not, when you say an address, it will actually just, instead of saying, you know, choose the list number, I found that it'll uh, usually be able to just say, okay, that's the address you're going to. Uh, is that Correct, you say yes, and off you go. So that's a quick look at the TomTom Tom Via 1435M in car GPS. For Gadget TV, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin. For more sweet stuff, visit butterscotch.com.